time. His campaign failed to gain much Republican support. The 44-year-old governor says he's not ready to endorse any other candidate just yet. Cal State faculty took to the streets today demanding a wage increase. ATVN's Scott Cook is in the media center with more on the story. Scott? More than 1,000 Cal State University faculty and supporters protested outside the CSU Board of Trustees meeting today in Long Beach. Their demand? A 5% salary hike for all CSU employees. 5% now! This morning, the California Faculty Association organized a rally right outside the Cal State University Chancellor's Office in Long Beach. While the CSU Board of Trustees met to discuss the possibility of a salary increase, CSU employees protested outside demanding one. The board has already offered CSU faculty a 2% salary increase, but Cal State employees still feel they deserve more. And that's just not enough for our faculty who are really struggling to hang on to mid the middle class. The president of the California Faculty Association organized today's protest. She feels contract negotiations with the CSU Board of Trustees have gone nowhere. It sounds like uh, we're going to get a report about how the faculty are paid just fine and everything's going swimmingly um, and that the faculty shouldn't be upset. Um, but we're, uh, we're asking them to please not tell us what our experience is. Cal State employees aren't the only ones who feel that they do indeed deserve a wage increase. I believe that faculty working conditions are student learning conditions and I've had multiple adjunct professors who have to leave campus early or don't have the office hours or the time needed for our classes because they have other classes on two, three other campuses they have to worry about, they have families. so. Them not getting paid is directly affecting our education. The Cal State Board of Trustees says it remains committed to the collective bargaining process, but no one was available to comment on the faculty's request. The CFA is prepared to strike unless they receive their 5% salary increase. The union says that if a strike happens, it won't happen until next year. From the Media Center, I'm Scott Cook. Back to you guys at the desk.